I'm Raj. And you guys will not believe where we are today and why we are here. So why? we are in, well I'll start off with where we are. We're, we're in, in Dallas, Dallas Texas. Texas. And we were actually invited for a press conference um, for Ajay Devgan's film Shivit. Shivit, and we're looking forward to it. We're so excited. We don't know what we're going to go into. We have no idea. We have no idea, but what we're told, we're going to meet Ajay Devgan yes. and also Kajol. So that's pretty big for yes. both of us. And a lot has to do with our YouTube channel, yes. with you guys, and you pretty much you guys made it happen for us. Right. And we don't know exactly what's gonna happen. No idea, we just decided we're gonna come, we're gonna see how everything goes. We're gonna have a good time. So we literally catch the flight this morning, right. and like we were like, you know what, let's just go check it out, let's go see what it's all about. If we get a chance to meet Ajit Devgan, that's That'll gonna be, so be cool. That'll like- That'll be the best. That'll be like the best thing in the world. It'll be the first time yes. that we're actually gonna have a conversation. Face to face. Face to face conversation. <laughs> with an actor. But the, such a well-established actor, I know. Ajay Devgan. Like I grew up watching Ajay Devgan movies. Same here. Movies. Same here. Same here. Like I love, I love him. I love his acting, and also Kajol. Like I grew up watching Kajol as well. Who yes. doesn't love Kajol? You I know? know. So we're just hoping we actually get to interact with them, talk to them, and hopefully take a photo with them. You yes. know, did a trailer reaction to the movie Shive a couple of weeks back, and he got really good response. Yes. And, and we were actually super excited like after watching the trailer like what an amazing really job because we thought really it was good. really 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 good and that was the so, main reason we decided to come because we did love the trailer we still have about an hour and a half before the event actually yes. starts so in the meantime we're just going to stroll around dallas and see what it's all about and we'll show you around yes. come come with us yes definitely see you. Uh, 
Shiva, Shiva is somebody who uh, he's has almost brought, human. Yeah, he's almost human. He's brought all the flaws what humans have. I mean, he can be fooled, he's temperamental, if you if you, if you know him. So he's, he's something which is connected with like a normal human being. He's a destroyer also. Uh, yeah, the he makes mistakes, he regrets them. So I use all those elements of the perfections of Shiva. And uh, how you can uh, channelize that in the right way and become, uh, become a superhero in, in the So this Diwali does not be destruction, as, as your trailer says. <laughs> and probably the most uh, imperfect part of Shivji that you find. <laughs> Are the imperfections and are our part of perfection? Actually, I'll get to you. Go ahead, Sina. Next question. So, this is a bit mad, so I'll try to give you a few last few years. This is the Motilane. How about the young Sina studio here? So, how do filmmakers such as yourself these days draw a line between passion projects and the business of films? You need to draw a line, for sure. I did. I did a set, I wanted to make a film and that's why I'm here today. I wanted to make a film, I wanted to also make a film and you know, uh, not prove of what I would say, but uh, say, uh, make a statement that in our country we can, we can also make films which you can compare, the, compare them or make better films than Hollywood. Like, yeah, and, uh, in spite of having to stay in budgets. So uh, that is what I wanted to do, so that is where the passion was. Want you to tell a story? Want you to tell a story? Uh, so to balance that, uh, what I did is uh, make make a film, make a film with a cost. And usually, what happens is when you make a film, take X money. Half of it goes to the actors and their director and things like this, and half is put in the film. And you know, then you make a big film. I put everything in it, so that does not put pressure on the markets. My passion comes in because I I am charged everything for the film. So <laughs> that's how you. And I just want to tell you that you know your uh, your um, point is very valid. That a good director always knows that he has to keep himself within budget, <coughs> and that is something that I'm very happy to say as part producer of the film that he's done. Thank <laughs> 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 you. I'm very proud that in, 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 in those budgets we paid a film of quality which we all should be our film. I am. John, you have a question. From extreme comedy movies like Gorma to various serious roles like Richard to an action movie like this, what do you enjoy doing more? As an actor? Yes. As an actor, uh, when, you, when you go to work and do your know, sets, you do not think what genre you do. You then perform, you become the character. So it's never the genre you think of. It's what you're doing. Ami, mean, you have a question. Hi, guys. Ami mean, from D Magazine. Um, I read that you had cast and crew from all over the world working on this. Uh, what were the pros and cons of that? And also, what was the most challenging physically for you in this film? Um, the script demanded actors from uh, the movies from all over the world. Uh, so we tried, I, I had a child in the film uh, who's not supposed to be Indian. So uh, an actress who's not supposed to be A lot of characters were not supposed to be Indian. Uh, so I, I tried casting and doing something. from the UK, from, from the border, from Germany, and uh, it's, it's a performance of the So I took my time and got very character. I'm very lucky that I've got actors who are uh, amazing. And the physically challenging? Physically, physically challenging, I would say, were the, were the, the conditions. Uh, I mean, the shot, uh, it was minus 20 minutes, like, like wow. some locations you couldn't reach. So we used to land there in Chocolates. Mm -hmm. so, uh, those so are the challenges. <laughs> and you were taking care of him. <laughs> no, I wasn't, honestly. <laughs> no, that's why, that's why I think the most challenging thing for him would be to direct, produce, and act. Yeah. I think that would be the most uh, challenging thing. Maybe if he was an actor, there would have been 20 other people to take care of him, like his director and his producer. And all yeah, that's 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 the most whole, whole unit, the whole unit went through these challenges. Yeah. Should be minus minus three, but everything. Yeah, we have, we, our unit, Not honestly, the film is what it is today because of everybody who's worked on it. And it's mostly shot in Eastern Europe? 
मेरा नाम अंग्रीन हसनाब है एंड आई लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ फनीजर रेडियो अपने पच्चीस साल फिल्मी करियर में आपने यू प्ले द डिपोर्टेड हजबेंड यू नो यू मी और हम एंड यू हैव डन सिंह हम वर यूर द माच ऑफ आई एंड यू प्ले द गैंगस्टर इन वंस अपॉन अ टाइम इन मुंबई तो आप ये बताइए कि इस फिल्म शिवाय में हम आपको किस रूप में देखेंगे No, as in what kind of character are you playing here? He's a uh, he's a mountaineer living in his own world, mm -hmm. and uh, and when it comes to a situation where he has to protect, uh, he turns into a despoiler. Uh, so that's it. Okay. Guys, two more questions. Go ahead, sir. Okay, so uh, Bebo from Panisha Radio. Thank you. Uh, being a radio person, would like to talk about the music. Uh, of the film, this film requires a background score which is mammoth. And, and still working on it. Yes, <laughs> and, and you know, I know. Uh, yeah, that's why I have such a short trip. I came in yesterday and came tomorrow because my background is stuck there. I need to work the back and start working. So, a if you can talk about the music of the film. The music, I think we took one, one and a half, more than one and a half years to make music. Mm -hmm. uh, if you would have heard uh, between songs earlier, yes. Uh, uh, his music is very different from this film. Fabulous, but uh, he was always in the zone. That, that's why we had to push him to get into the zone again. Uh, I think you saw the romantic song. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I think. That was that was one. Yeah, it's been launched this morning. That has. So yeah, uh, we worked a lot on the music. Uh, we wanted the sound of Shivai, uh, which was the title track, and uh, for that, I didn't want it to sound like a Bhajan or an Aarti. Right. I wanted. Everybody is connected with it, and it is not supposed to. Uh, you use a lot of that step in in the title track of the yeah. Of the song. So, so, so we actually work very hard. We uh, research and pick up sounds which are which, which, which are supposed to come out next year. Yeah. And we did that way, and then you know, if the every song is part of the film. If you if you see the romantic bit also, that's that's all. That, that's also about a story. It takes the story in. So every line, I was very clear with my lyricists also that it should not be out of context or out of character. So it was very tough for them to do it. They did a great job. Absolutely. Malisha, you have a question. Oh, sorry. I just want to say that one thing about the title track of Shivai. The title track of Shivai is actually one of the best written songs the lyrics are yeah. written songs. The lyrics of the title track of Shivai are just, I mean, they're outstandingly written. They're simply and so beautifully put so that everybody understands what sure. it is, what it means to be Shiva. Shiva. They've simplified simply. the Sanskrit also. Yeah, the language exactly. is very yeah. simple. Very simple, so that you can get it. So everybody gets it. It's not meant for only a certain you know, section. Of Tell your question. And um, welcome to Texas. So filmmaking, producing, acting is a, I'm sure, a very demanding thing on both of you. How do you both balance that with your personal lives? What do you all do to relax? And I think I'm you sure balance it very well for the past one and a half years. I have not been. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing the balancing. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been quite busy with this. So uh, I'm going to make up for it. Last question here. Hi, Ajay. This is Farooq Bakar from Panesia Radio. Hello, Madam Kajol. Um, my question, I have got two questions for you. First is, uh, you were supposed to be um, initially shooting the film here in Canada. All of a sudden shifted the plans to Bulgaria. Why? A uh, couple of issues there. Uh, I will get the right location to everyone. And uh, secondly, that winter, I was in the snow. We did snow. So we had the film by six months, one year in fact. Waited for the next winter. By the time I saw Bulgaria, I got the right kind of location for it. Okay, my second question is this Whose discovery is Saisha? Is it Salman Khan or you? <laughs> I don't think I think she's discovered by her parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Ajay and Kajol. Let's give them a huge round of applause.